first season, it was a very good season. Uh, I heard it was the, the best season of the club ever. So since I'm a team player, I think it was something like really, really amazing to, to achieve. However, I'm a, I'm a big time competitor. So I knew that we could have went for something better. We lost a few points that we shouldn't have. I just want all the time to get better and better. And I think it's the same for the whole team, teammates, football club. So without putting any pressure to ourselves, uh, we need every day on a, on a daily basis to think about doing better than last season. And uh, we, will, uh, we will find out about this at the end of the season. No, I'm an easy guy. Uh, I'm an easy guy. Uh, I always been respecting my coaches. It doesn't matter the, their age or whatsoever. So uh, the feeling with the coach uh, was great from the first phone call. To be honest, I was uh, I was not even uh, booked at the time. Uh, I didn't booked at the time my my plane tickets to come here on trial. But uh, you know the way he talked to me, the way he was listening to me, and we talked not only about football, about like you know life and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, it's uh, he, he seems like a really nice coach and guy. And when I came here after the, the my week on trial, uh, we we had the same um, view about one another. Uh, so it wasn't hard for me, you know, like the coach. Uh, is the the how can I say the captain of the of the team, and uh, we have to do what he's uh, asking us to do, and uh, to to get uh, the best result for the club. Learning how to play properly football with the best coach in the world, you know, like uh, I'm not gonna be scared to say that. Like I had the chance to be coached by the, the best coaches in the world, you know. Uh, the names of players that they help uh, became top stars, talk for themselves. And you know, when you have that chance, luck to, to be in the academy, you just need to, to embrace it with everything, to learn all of the details that they're giving you because they, they know exactly what they're talking about, you know. they. Uh, they know if you're a good player just by touching the ball the first time, the position of your body. And then, you know, when you get there, you're 13, you're like, oh, I'm good because I got here. But you're realizing two, three, four months later that, no, I wasn't good at the time. I was better than the other guy, but I didn't know how to play football properly. And these three years, those three years changed my life completely about everything regarding football, you know about uh, the small details, uh, about like uh, the technical things, uh, it's, it's crazy. I can talk about it, but you will understand it only if you get there, you know? And well, unfortunately, there are not coaches over there anymore. New coaches arrived, so I cannot talk about the new coaches except one because I did my last year. He was also amazing. Since I was a young guy, uh, I always tell myself that uh, I'm gonna have to travel with football. So it's never been an issue for me, you know. I remember my mom was telling me, yeah, when I we found out that I was going to Clairefontaine, she was like, are you not gonna be sad and being far from us? I say, no, mom, you're gonna be sad, not me, because this is what I want. So when I left to France, to Scotland, you know, it was like more, uh, about uh, happiness, I'm gonna discover something else. Uh, and then, you know, I'm, um, I'm a proud guy. So I was like, I'm gonna have to show myself in a different country, in a different style of football. So if you manage to do that, you know, you're gonna, you can tell that you, you win your battle, you know? And then I settled there really quick, I've been, uh, uh, loved by the teammates straight away and I was like wow it's 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 very nice and then obviously you're learning new languages and and everything and for me now um, I'm talking still to some of my French friends and to the ones who's been playing only in France top league and stuff I'm like guys believe me your, your career 
it's been great, but you're gonna, you missed something. And they're like, why? And they say, you don't know what is it to go to a foreign country to get to the changing room for the first day. Everybody speaks, you don't understand anything. You go to the field, you don't understand anything. And your feet has to talk for yourself, you know, because at the time, that's the only thing you can do, you know, showing how good you are by playing good. Because if you're not doing good, it's like that in every country I know. The guy is not gonna make, you know, the efforts to come and talk to you, you know, to know uh, if you need anything and stuff like that, because uh, that's the football world. And uh, and uh, so some of my friends are like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah, you know, and well, obviously now it's my 13th years away from my country and I've been in three continent. So it's even more than just living once. But uh, I'm very happy with my, my football journey because uh, I met people in so many different country continents and uh, this is going to help me for my life after football as a football player. Brother Connection. Brother Connection. We were living in the same condo. Uh, Valdas at the time didn't have a car, so every day uh, I was taking him to training and coming back together. And uh, we stayed really close even because in football, you know, you can be close with somebody uh, for two years every day. And then once quitting the club, the other one staying and the connection is gone, you know. And with, Va with Valdas, uh, we kept this. We kept this. Uh, I'm not saying that we're talking every week, but we're talking uh, often. Uh, taking news about uh, our families and stuff like that. We met in Paris, you know, some things that uh, I haven't done much with a lot of uh, ex-teammates, you know. He was in Paris, he was like, hey Steve, I'm in Paris and stuff. I was like, what? You cannot go back to Lithuania without seeing me. And then uh, we met, we, we, we ate at the restaurant and this is my type of personality, you know. If I had a good connection with you, I want to keep this until forever. It doesn't matter if I stop playing for your, the team you're playing with, because uh, I'm not fake, you know, I'm a 100% person. I give my 100% and uh, sometimes, you know, I've been like disappointed because uh, uh, my relationship with Valdas is some things that, uh, you know, make me believe that, wow, there is still some guys who think the same as me in the football world, you know? So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very nice. And then I, how can I not love the guy? You know, it's like the, the nicest guy on earth, you know? So I'm, uh, I'm very happy uh, to have seen him again here in Lithuania as well. All of them, I will uh, remember them as great experience. Uh, some better than the others, obviously. Uh, but uh, I learned as a man, as a football player, uh, I learned about culture, about so many things. So, you know, it's things that uh, is going to stay with me forever. You know, I don't think there is many football players who's been playing in those many countries, you know, like because uh, by moving country to country, believe me, it's not easy. You know, like I said, uh, when you're leaving your house, you're like, how is it gonna be? Because where I was, was this, was that, the sun, it's good, the football play was like that. But um, as soon as I take my decision, I'm just like, okay, focus yourself of what's going to happen now. Leave everything behind you, because if not, it's gonna, it's not gonna help you, you know? So uh, it's been great. It's been great. Like uh, we achieve uh, all, almost all the time the, what the club wanted us to achieve. So it means that uh, I did and the club did well. Uh, after it's a shame that in some teams I haven't continued, but uh, it wasn't anything to do with football most of the time, you know? So it's, uh, and then I was younger at the time, I wasn't a dad. So you think in a different way, you're thinking about, yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna get something better or, you know. And um, I am not saying that I regret because I don't regret anything that I've been doing, but with more experience 
and you sometimes I'm like oh maybe you know that decision should have been maybe a different one but it's like that it's uh, it's part of my life of my path and uh, I'm happy doesn't matter the years or stuff like the memory is gonna remain the same it's like pure joy happiness uh, pride because uh, we were at home in front of our families friends and uh, we were and will be the first French team to have lift the under 17 cup so it doesn't matter what happened. Uh, it could be 20 more years or stuff. We are gonna be, we are gonna remain the first one. So you know, it's uh, like you, it's something that I can be proud of for the rest of my life, and uh, and also proud with what we achieved because it's not easy, you know, to to win a, a, a tournament. Whatever tournament you're doing, and God knows how many I've been doing since I'm a kid. Uh, it's never easy because at the beginning there is a lot of teams with lots of uh, qualities, uh, desire and everything. So when you're finished on the first spot, like you're like, wow, we did something really amazing. So yeah, it's uh, joy, joy, pure joy. The connection was unbelievable because uh, like uh, for with Atem, we were playing together since we are 13. He was at Clairefontaine. He's the same age as me, but he is the only player who got uh, in Clairefontaine with the year before because he was that talented. Uh, so we played, yeah, maybe six years together. Uh, Karim, Samir, Jeremy, uh, we played four years together and then straight we, we felt uh, good, great. Uh, it didn't matter. Uh, that I was from Paris, uh, that uh, Samir was from Marseille, Karim from Lyon, no, because like we had all our common goals to perform individually and if we were doing good individually, obviously the team would be doing good. So um, the connection was uh, like, like once more, it's like I can talk about it, but you needed to be with us at the time, you know, it was crazy. And uh, I do. I do, uh, and even more like recently, uh, got news more from one another because sometimes uh, on my social media I'm here, then I disappear, then I'm coming back. And uh, the last few years I was like, no, nah, it, uh, you know, you cannot do this anymore, Steven. You know, just stay there, it doesn't matter. And then uh, just like, you know, uh, follow your friends and uh, talk to them every once in a while. And then like, uh, I've been in touch with Karim, uh, Samir recently, Jeremy also. Uh, Atem, it's been a while, it's been a while. I sent him a message recently, but I don't know if he got it or not. But uh, I know that many people in football, I don't have to speak personally to, you know, I know somebody who plays with him who say, oh, Atem's well and stuff like that. And obviously I can see them perform on TV also. So I know how they're doing, but uh, it's getting better in terms of uh, getting back to connection and getting used to one another and stuff like that. So it is, it's good. For me, it's normal. For me, it's normal because uh, I'm a guy who share things, you know? When I was 18, believe me, obviously it wasn't, it was in a different country, France, like, you know, the view of football is totally different. The money is different. Uh, so there is not much time to help one another. It's me against you and it's the war, you know. If I play, I'm happy. If I don't play, I'm not happy for different kinds of things. The bonus, this and that and that, you know what I mean? But. Uh, I always been thinking like it doesn't matter for me because I can share few tips with you, but I'm still gonna work. I'm still gonna work to be better than you. Every day, some like yeah, every day, every day I'm like moaning about like uh, you know the passing way, the way I want the ball to arrive. Uh, if it's there is too many touch, and I'm like to the to the young guy or even oldest guy, older guy. I'm telling them and after that I go to them to let them know why it's not personal. 
But if you leave Lithuanian football and you go to Scotland, you won't have that much time. So take the habit now, because by the time you get there, it's too late. And people is gonna be like, like I told you, they're gonna arrive from another country and people, you don't have time. You don't have time. You have to perform straight away. So, and then like all the young kids, like uh, they are like, they know that I'm moaning a lot, but after that I explain them why. And then they're like, oh, thank you, Steven. And I'm like, no, don't text me. Don't thanks me, sorry. Uh, it's for you, you know, and it's for your benefit. I want you to become a bit better player. And maybe in a few years time, I see you in another country playing football and making a proper living. And I would be like, oh, I, I give that kids like many advice and look where he is now and I would be happy. So it's, uh, for me, it's just normal, you know, to, to share. And with all the coaches I've been working with, top coaches, uh, it would be selfish to keep the advice for myself. And I'm not like this.